it's a new season and I haven't done a try on in a while and so in today's video I want to share with you a collected try on and review with pieces that I've gotten from Cezanne, Free People and Netta Potter. I'll leave everything I can linked down below with my body measurements in case you want them for reference. Don't forget to like this video if you do like it, subscribe if you have it and let's get started. I want to start with my bottom since it is the one that I struggle the most to find the proper fit for my body type. And it is the one I first picked when I'm getting dressed in the morning and so I pretty much get dressed around my bottoms. <laughs> and for the first piece, I have this blue denims. You know how much I love my denims. I was looking for a lighter blue denim for the spring and just the warmer months in general. I did not own anything as light as this one and it took me a little bit to find them. But once I found it, I was so glad that I did get them. Though they fit a little tighter than what I envisioned, I am gonna keep them because in my experience, most of my denims, if not all, stretch out over time. And this already have been stretching out a little bit and so I don't want them to be too loose on my body. And so I think this will work perfect. They are super fly, so they have a zipper and a button versus having four or five buttons. And there is a little gap on the waist, which is normal with my body type, but I don't mind it. Sometimes I like having that gap for those meals that, you know, you just need that extra space afterwards. These are from the brand Frame, and they're called the Ultra High Rise Barrel Jeans. And so they taper a little at the bottom, and they do go above my belly button. Keep in mind that I do have a longer torso, and so if you do have a short torso, then they're gonna go way higher on you. They are a little stiff in price, but I managed to get them 40% off, and so I'll link the same one that I got from the same company down below. But I noticed that all the companies will have them a full price, and so if you really want them, I suggest you search by the name and the brand and see which company has them on sale. <laughs> They're made 100% cotton, so there's zero stretch to them, but I still find it comfortable, at least for my level of comfort when it comes to denims. I love the fit of them on me. I find it very flattering, and I love the length. It's the perfect length for what I was looking for, and I cannot wait to break them in so they can mold to my body and loosen up a bit so I can start styling it not only for the warmer months, but also in the transition months. I have been looking for cargo pants for the past couple of months. They are trending right now and I wasn't ready to jump 100% in. And when I saw this pair, these are like my middle ground. It's something that to me, they seem timeless, but without being too trending. And they are from the same brand as the previous one, Frame. And I also got it at 70% off. And so I got a really good deal for what they are. They are this pair of white jeans. They're also 100% cotton, but still soft. And these are more baggy than the previous one, although they are the same size. But they are also cropped, or at least on me they are. And again, they are in the looser fit. I love the button detail. They have buttons on both sides. And you can unbutton them. Them, but I only unbutton one side. I don't need to open both sides to get my legs through. They also have it on the back, which I find it very unique. And the color of the pants, they're not pure white, which is something that I keep in mind. I do have yellow undertone. I do like white, and so I have a lot of pieces in white. <laughs> but I try to get that ivory or yellow undertone on my whites because I find it, it looks better on my skin complexion. Absolutely love the fit. I think it's a style that regardless of my body changes that I normally experience through the years, they'll still fit me and look flattering. The length, again, perfect one for me and what I was looking for. They fit me at the same length as the previous one. So crop, but not too crop. And so I'm able to wear it not only during the warmer months, but also transition to the colder ones. Just like denim, dresses are a simple piece in my wardrobe. I wear them all year round. And I was missing a pair in this color. It's like a light brown color. And I have been browsing different websites, different brands. But when I came across in person, I knew it was the pair that I had been looking for. They are in this white leg style, which I love. And they are a little long on me, but I do love that extra length on my trousers. I never wear them with heels. And so I'm gonna see how they do outside of the house with my regular sneakers. And if I don't fall, if I do, then that might be a sign that I should have them. They come in five different colors, and so I'm debating whether I'm gonna get the black ones as well, because I do love this light materials of them. I do have a different pair of black trousers, but they are made in wool, and so I'm only able to wear them during the colder months. They made in this mix of light materials, which is Lyocell and Tencel, and so they're perfect for the warmer months. They do feel light, and they go super high on my waist, which is that look that I go for. 
and though I'm not too familiar with the brand, I do have a couple things from them, but I don't have quite a lot. I feel like they run in the large size because I did have to size down compared to Everland, for example. I am size zero on their pants and I had to size down to double zero with this brand. But I love the fit. I love the button detail on the waistline as well. Nice and classic pair that you can easily take to work, but also dress out outside of work, depending on how you style them. The bottoms I want to talk about is something that I have talked already so I'm not gonna dip into many details because I did review it on this video. It is a pair of leather trousers and these trousers I have been looking for as I mentioned in that video for years and once I found it, it took me a couple tries to play around with the sizing because it was my first purchase with this Denton Porter website. Love this pair of leather trousers. Just like all the pieces that I have mentioned already, a pair of leather trousers are timeless and versatile and I have been wearing it already and I'm excited to continue to style it all throughout the spring and maybe not the summer <laughs> depending on the weather but once summer is over then again through the fall and winter. Moving on to outerwear, I have three coats. The first two are from Sun. This parka coat, I use it as my raincoat. I do not have a proper raincoat, and though the website does not say anything about this being a raincoat because of the material, I'm assuming it is a raincoat, and so that's why I'm wearing it. It's called the Parka Arthur. It comes in three different colors, and every color has different material composition, and I went for the black one. It's made mostly cotton and it's lined. The hood is removable so you can take it off, which I don't plan on taking it off because again, I plan to use it as my raincoat. The outer layer of it feels very plasticky. Somebody commented on it yesterday when I was wearing it that I look like I'm wearing a trash bag. And it does feel like that and outside, though it's lined so you don't feel it on your skin. But I understand it is a unique like coat and I think that's why I really liked it and I was waiting, I have been waiting for I want to say at least a year and a half because it's been sold out this whole time and so they do bring him on and off. I love the length of it on me. I like that it is a light jacket and so I think it's perfect for the spring and even summertime. So the winter maybe if I lay it underneath it I'll be able to wear it but it is not the thickest jacket to wear during the heavy winter time. The buttons on it are also covered in the outerwear shiny material which I think is a great idea to make it that way so they're more seamless. I went for my normal size with the brand and the sleeves are not too long on me which is something that I sometimes struggle with being on the petite side. I'm excited to continue to style it even during the summertime if it's not too warm and it's raining maybe with my rain boots. This next one is called the Aeron Jacket and I have major disappointment when I receive it in the mail because in my eyes this jacket has a green color and so even I ask people what color is the color <laughs> I'm getting so confusing, but I asked people what color was the color on the jacket and they agree based on the pictures that it is green and I was thinking it was going to be a little funky plaid color jacket with a green corduroy color and it's not, it's black. And so at first I thought I got the wrong one, but I think that's just how the picture looks. It just makes it look green. I went for a size up because it did not have my normal size with the brand on stock, but I do like how the size up fits me. A little oversized, but it's not too oversized for my liking. It has room to fit a sweater underneath it, which I really like. It's in the crop side. I have been looking for a bomber jacket, but like a more classic and timeless style or take to it and I feel like this one is though it's really light it does feel really light when you put it on I feel like because of the material it will keep you nice and warm so really good in that department <laughs> but yeah just keep going back to the green anyways <laughs> this one like the previous one is also lined in mostly cotton and so if you are a little sensitive to wool then you have that going on underneath it so it doesn't touch your skin i also think this one is a high quality and because of the color palette something that it can match with almost anything if not everything in your wardrobe it's chic it's versatile it's somewhat unique too it will be more unique if you have the green color but <laughs> 
I do like it, um, but because of budget reason, I might not keep it and so I'm still thinking about it. I'll let you know down below if I have made up my mind by the time this video goes up. It's not surprised me how much I liked it. I bought it because I was going on a trip and I needed like a puffer jacket, but I did not want to take my long puffer jacket because it is a little thick and it's just a lot. And I wanted something a little lighter that was more compact and so I went to the store in person to free people and I have seen this go online but it was nothing like in person and so I saw a black one and I asked the person that was at the register to look and see if they had it in store for the different color one, the one that I got and I was not expecting her to say yes we have it and she comes back like a couple minutes later with the coat in my size and I was like <gasps> and she like got scared she was like what what happened I was like you got the coat in stock and my size and the color that I want and so she was like oh my god I'm so excited that I made you day but yeah she made my day but anyways try it on it fit perfectly I love the fit and so I bought it on the spot and I took it to my trip and I'm excited not only to wear it again when I travel but also wear it to the gym or wear it out for walks and so it'll be like more an active wear type of jacket I didn't have anything like it most of my coats are like in the longer length it's called a pipa packable puffer jacket and it is packable you can use the same pocket of the coat and then just wrap it around and put it inside its pocket which is pretty cool it comes in 13 different color options i went for the toasted coconut which is like a burnt orange and that is my accent color for the spring summer and even the fall it's water resistant it has a boxy fit and i also like how it's not just like straight across the hips i feel like if it was at least on my body type it wouldn't be as flattering but it has these little curves on the side which allows for your hip to show a little more and just overall make it more flattering especially for those of us that are petite <laughs> the feel of it has this really soft and cool to like feeling i think i went for a size small which i am extra small with three people but i wanted a more looser fit it is a coat and so i do like my coat to be in the looser size in case i need to lay it underneath it moving on to tops i had this hoodie that i have it for at least two three years and i wear it non-stop all year round it's my traveling hoodie i take it everywhere because it's light and breathable and comfortable it's made of cashmere and so it has this luxurious not only feel but also look to it and I always get compliments on it every time I wear it and so I wear it so much that I decided to go for a different color with a different brand this one is the same style with the hoodie and the string but it's much thicker and so it's going to be even warmer and it feels more substantial and so I have been wearing it already a sweater hoodie like this is so versatile again I wear my other one non-stop all year round everywhere I lay it underneath it or put it on top of my shoulder during the warmer months and that's how I plan to do with this one. This one is from Alexia and it's from the brand Babatown and it's called the Lux Cashmere Hoodie. I love styling this with trousers because it gives that contrast look of a tailor piece and a more casual one. But again, because the hoodie is made and the cashmere material is still more luxurious and so it keeps the outfit more cohesive and like a casual chic type of vibe but i've also styled with my jeans and skirts and even dresses and so just like you style with normal hoodie but this one has a more elevated and sophisticated take to it so i've been into graphic vintage light sweaters and t-shirts lately and on my hunt for a sweater i found some even in vintage stores but they were more like band related and i did not want to wear something that i know nothing about so though i'm still looking for one that is actually vintage i came across this one from free people and this is georgetown in it which is a town that i used to live in in texas and so i found it fitting it comes in this off white or ivory which again is a color i prefer on me which is having a true white even though the graphic print on it is large it's still minimal because of the color palette and so i'm able to still style it in a way that it feels true to me it's made 100 percent cotton and and again, it feels super soft on the skin because of the crop style and the raw hem of the sweater. It is more in the casual side, aside from it being a sweater already. <laughs> but I plan to style it more with either trousers or if I do wear denims, maybe do a loafer or even heels. Overall, I really like the sweater, the color palette, the fit. 
and the little details it does have these little holes on it that i did not notice when i bought it it gives like that vintage old look i have been looking for something like this for a while in the same line with graphics i also got this graphic tee from free people it says nashville on top and then the music city at the bottom i did size up on this one because i do want an oversized fit and i do like the fit it is longer so i'm able to layer with a lot of my sweaters over and still have this peekaboo underneath it it kind of looks gray on the website but it's actually a vintage black so it's like a lighter black which i prefer over a gray i don't love gray on me and so i make sure that it wasn't a true gray i found the price on this one very reasonable for what it is i've bought some white plain tea before for this price if no more and this one having that design i feel like it's a good quality t-shirt with a cold graphic design and so I'm excited to style it with you know my denim jeans or my leather trousers or even with shorts over the warmer months and so forth but it's a cool piece that still fits within my neutral color palette and my minimal style but I'm also able to wear it all year round only during spring season. Different day, hence the weather messy here. I had a migraine, so I stepped out, went for a long walk. Now I'm back, let's continue. These tanks have been such a simple piece in my wardrobe since I got them. I first got the white one, which is the one that I'm wearing right now, five, six months ago. And I liked it so much that I went for the brown one and the yellow one, and now I have it in black. They're made in the soft, stretchy, thick enough material for you to not have to wear a bra unless you really want to. And they're not thick enough for you to feel uncomfortable on heat. I did get mine when I was in Texas and it was high heat, like 105 degree Fahrenheit heat. So super hot <laughs> and I did not feel uncomfortable. The straps are not spaghetti strap, but they are on the thin side, though I still think you can fit a bra strap. Again, if you really want to wear a bra underneath it. They are low cost, so if you are heavy chested, it might be a little much for you, but I do like how they fit me. I wear them as a bra when I go to work and I don't feel like wearing a bra to work, but I can't get away with not wearing one. And so these are a go-to of mine for that to wear underneath my button ups. I wear them outside of work with a hoodie or a sweater over my shoulders if I need to cover my shoulders or my arms and I wear them at home. The shoes have been a very versatile piece and I am <laughs> tempted to get more colors. I do like the fit of them. I like that little uh, corset-like design that it has the front. It has some texture to it, so it makes it look more elevated. And overall, a very, again, versatile piece that I now feel tempted to get them in every single color. If you've been here before, you have already heard me talking about how classic and versatile stripes are. And so I have this long sleeve crop, I crop myself, uh, shirt. And I have been wearing it non-stop and I was looking for a second one with short sleeve. And when I saw this one, I knew it was the one that I was looking for. I love the fit. It has a boxy fit, but it is in the crop size. I got it from the Netta Potter website, but it is from the brand Frankie Shop. I got an extra small and i did get it on sale this one i like the previous one that i diy myself it has a hem and so it makes it more classic and polish it's made of 100 percent cotton very soft nice and comfortable i don't have a lot of more to say about it because it's just a nice classy crop tee that i'm excited to style for the warmer months whether it's with my denims short or long and skirts even over a little tank dress it's again such a versatile piece that it can go with anything. <laughs> this one is called the boxy shirt jacket and it's from the men's section, I made well. Uh, you don't know, it was from the men's section. I was walking around, not looking for anything specifically and I came across it, tried it on and instantly liked it. It is in the thick size, so I have been wearing it as a jacket more than a shirt. And so I put it over this tank that I have on right now or a long sleeve thing sweater. That's how I had it when I was on my trip. And white denims, I wear it over blue denims, over a little black dress that I have. And so it's just been a repeated piece in my wardrobe and I find it so cozy and comfortable. I tried both size, medium and large for an oversized fit and I ended up going with the medium one. Still a little long on the sleeve, obviously it's not meant for a petite girl, but I rolled the sleeve and it looks like a normal oversized but meant for me type of jacket. <laughs> I get 
questions about this dress every time I wear it, whether I show it on an Instagram reel or one of my YouTube videos. It is the 90% dress. I got it from Linda Potter and I love the fit, how soft and comfortable it is. It's like wearing a long sweater. I believe it's supposed to fit your contour to your body, but because of my body type, it is a little loose on the waistline, which I don't mind. But I have been wearing it with my sneakers. I'm sure it can be worn with a lot of more or other type of shoes, but that's how I have been wearing it lately by itself or I wore it last time when I was on my trip with a denim jacket over the hat the color on it was the same brown as the dress and I think it looked amazing <laughs> but overall a very nice and comfortable a good material type of dress it has some stretch to it but it's not too stretched to the point that it affects the quality of it i went for a size extra small but i think i can get away with getting extra extra small for a little more fitted look and i got it for 70 percent off so still pretty penny for what i pay for but it's not the twenty dollars dress <laughs> So definitely wouldn't be able to pay the full price, but I'm so glad I found that on sale. And it is showing, still available, so I'll link it down below. I love the simplicity of it. It's just like a one piece sweater dress with a slit, which I really appreciate for more comfortability when it comes to walking around. It is supposed to be in a mid length, but because I am gonna decide it's a little longer. And though it's a simple piece, it has some texture to it, which makes it more elevated. A very casual, chill, versatile, but still somewhat chic type of piece, which it's just my vibe. <laughs> Last category is shoes and accessory. I have two things. The first one is a pair of white loafers. These were bought on the spot at the store. I wasn't looking for anything, but I had thought about adding a second pair of loafers to my wardrobe because I have a black pair that I wear all the time, or to work or outside of work. And so I saw these wet ones and I did not know I was gonna like them as much until I tried them on and then I was hooked. But I'm so glad I got them. They bring this more edgy and unique versatility to my wardrobe. I like the thin and more minimal laser that they have. The thicker sole that makes it more comfortable and give me a little height. <laughs> they are chunky, which is something that I'm careful with. Being in the petite sign, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do like them. I could not find the same exact ones online, but I'll link some similar down below. They're not the most affordable one, but I did end up getting a discount because I bought it with another piece. And so I think she gave me 30% off overall. For the past couple of years, I've been into hats lately and I've been wearing the same one corduroy hat. <laughs> it's a baseball style one. And I was looking for a second one. One, because I only had that brown one and two, because it is thick. And so I wanted one for the summertime, but it is so, or I find it so difficult to find a hat that fits my head. Obviously I do have a lot of hair, but also it's just sweeping when I have my hair straightened. I can't find a hat that fits me like by my brows. They always sit like up here. And so when I found this one, a free people I try it on. The price was so affordable for what it is. It's 100% cotton. I like the colors so on my accent color for the spring and summer seasons, the yellow. And it's a color that looks good on my skin complexion. So all around, all good things about this hat. Decided to wear during the warmer months and it does fit if I you know, fix my hair certain way it does fit me even with my curly afro i love hats as an accessory especially when it's warm and you don't want to wear a lot of jewelry because it is hot and you want to get your non-gold jewelry um tarnish and so i find that hats are a good way to spice up your outfits i do have a pair of shoes that are in the same town and so i'm excited to pair them together for a more cohesive look for the spring and summer and again take it to the fall season and I believe that's everything. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye.